Today, we're going to start season two of Bungo Stray Dogs. So let's jump into it. Long but before we do, most of you are not subscribed to the channel, so support the content if you enjoy it and join the community if you haven't already. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. We're fuzz buddies. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Aww. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is the past. I would probably play with my little <laughs> my little ice ball thing too. Oh man, I cannot, dude. I don't fuck with tomatoes like that, bro. People people in anime really fuck with tomatoes, bro. It's crazy. We're fuzz buddies. <laughs> oh, this must be the day the day he betrays them, right? And he's the youngest executive, right? <laughs> Aw, cat's on his shoulder, too. Aw, they were all friends and stuff, man. Now we gotta lose one? Oh. Yo, what the hell? This is some prologue shit. Oh, shit. This guy's interesting, man. How come he didn't get hit at all? He's a mimic. Ooh, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Damn, dog. That's all the furniture my man owned? Little lockbox. Oh, he sees the future? That's his ability! He can see into the future! That's so cool! Oh, I always I always fuck with anything like that, bro. That that like that just a glimpse into the future. I mean, ideally, you get better and better and better and better and better and better with the skill. You train it, hone it so that way you can see a little bit further into the future. Maybe not for a large amount of time, but for a for a short amount of time. That way you can win the lottery. <laughs> That's That would be my goal. But just knowing slightly into the future is so cool because then it would help me decide whether I want to do something. Is it only activated when his life is at risk? Is it something that he can activate at will? Damn. Damn, he Swiss cheesed him. Five, six seconds into the future. So you can't train it to get more than that, just the five or six seconds? One thing I'm always intrigued by with Dazai, why is it always bandaged up? Really? That's kind of weird. I don't know, man. I feel like it's all Dazai, dude. Is that crazy to think? It's all Dazai? I just don't put anything past him. I, I have this, like, like a high bar for him, you know? I just feel like, ah, uh, you do so much. Bro, Dazai is fucking creepy, bro. And all of those bullets miss our boy? Bro, what is Dazai got going on that he can't get hit by no bullets, bro? This is so weird, man. Bro, Dazai actually got capped? This is so intriguing, dude. I love the mystery here. All right, we're gonna skip so that way we can actually get the OP in, in episode two, right? I'm really intrigued by this Ango guy too, man. The front, right? It's not actually kids. Oh, wait. Oh, shit, maybe. And it's a lot of kids too, damn.
Damn, they're all jumping, my mans. And he's just smiling about it. Oh, is this the OP? Okay, here we go. I like the first OP, so hopefully this one bangs even harder. I like it. It's a good OP. Oh, he helps take care of them? Oh? Anti-mimic strategy? <gasps> Damn, these these guys really are just like fucking shit up, huh? Psych, got him. Oh wait, all all of the patrons, the customers. Bro, poison hidden in the teeth? So common. Holy shit, dude. Oh, hey, look who it is. Oof. Yeah, why didn't he just like try and chop off one of their hands? Ooh. Oh my god. No shot. Damn. You didn't shoot him, right? Dang! Damn, Dazai, bro. Dazai is fucking... My dog Dazai, man. He's, he's kind of scary, bro. He's kind of scary. Bro, his ability is to see the future. How are you gonna hit him? Please enlighten me. Maybe they're called Mimic for a reason and that's not actually him. Yeah, I mean, he only got like five, six seconds, bro. What is that, second, third floor? G. But you see the future. Wait, is he actually working with them? Ongo is actually a bad guy. Interesting that he says that. Is that like a little foreshadowing? Aw. Oh shit, that was a pretty interesting two episodes, right? So, I, like I said, I don't know how long this is gonna go. Whether it's like the first three episodes, four episodes, six episodes, or the entire season, I don't know. At least the start of it will focus on these events before Dazai left the Port Mafia and went over to the detective agency, right? It, but we could even see back here, he is very much a detective. He's smart. He thinks things through, kind of gets an idea of what's going on. So even back when he was with the Port City Mafia, he still had that deductiveness. That's, I don't know if that's, <laughs> that's Oda, who it, it seems like we're focusing on through this beginning stuff. We're mainly focusing on Oda. Oda's this kind guy who has the ability to see five to six seconds into the future. Like him, Dazai, so far, some of my favorite abilities. The ability to see a short distance into the future really sets you up to be prepared for things, right? And then of course, Dazai's ability to, to stop people's abilities is, is all dope. So we find out a little bit about Oda. He's the type of person that cares for people, takes care of some orphans. These two episodes have just introduced us to Oda, Dazai, and Ang Ango or Argo? I think it's Ango and their friendship that formed. We actually haven't seen how Dazai and Oda's friendship formed. So I'd love to see that. And Ango seems to be working for the bad guys. He's a double agent, but he's not like faking to be working for the bad guys. No, he's faking to be working for the original guys. And I love that everyone has these homages to the people that they're named after. That's dope. 
人を描くことだどう生きてどう死ぬべきかということをな They really pushing this literary aspect of it a lot, huh? A name that we will never know. Unless the name is his name right now, and we don't know what his actual name is. Mm. No one remembers what you owe to them. Interesting. What you owe to them? Oda? Owe to them? Uh -huh. No? Oh, he has gotten better. Good defense, man. Is he also a gifted one? Oh! Oh, shit! What? Damn, good juke. Bro, does he have a similar ability? Oh, maybe! Maybe he does have a similar ability. Ouch. That was smart. That was a smart move. Oda. Oh. Oh my. He's so fucking annoying, this guy, dude. He's such a baby. He says you're stronger than me. It's time for me to test it and see if I can beat you. Watch. He's such a baby, he just needs acknowledgement from fucking Dazai, dude. That's gotta hurt his fucking hand, bro. It's it's crazy he got rocked the same way, bro. KO'd the same way. Not rocked, but KO'd the same way. Same ability, whoa, that's crazy. Which you also saw, and then I also saw, and then you saw, and I saw, and you saw, and I saw, and we just kept going back and forth, and we just literally stuck standing here like this as we continue to see this fucking future play out. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, 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 so this is one thing I was wondering. The ability to see a few seconds into the future if you are to be in any danger. It only, it only works if he's in danger. That's the only time he sees it. He doesn't see it all the time, which kind of sucks. To be honest. What? The fuck? And write the end of the book! Huh? I like that. That's gonna make him mad. Now he's gonna attack. Now he's gonna have to dodge and keep dodging and. Ooh, he saw that one coming too. He's got the fucking armor on. Yeah, getting shot in a bulletproof vest still hurts because it's still. Punched by a bullet, bro. It's not like it absorbs the impact. It just doesn't let you get like shot. You still get bruises. Mmm. Kind of had a guy that did the inside info thing, and now he's the yeah. Now he's the guy that they're kind of like trying to get. Ah. Oh. Oh, because he's already waiting there. No fucking shot, dude. Really? What? That's so weird. It's the spot, bro. What you mean? This is the spot. Oh, 
あああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Yeah. Oh, and that's what's happening here? I think that when these situations occur, it should cause your ability to develop some. I'm just saying, if your ability faces something it never has before, it should then grow in some way. You know, like when you are faced with a task you've never had to handle, what do you do? You grow to overcome it. One of their abilities should grow more to overcome. It's like an evolution. Still want to know why the fuck he's bandage wrapped. I don't think it's Ango that died. Well, maybe. It might be Ango that dies, but it also, it could be Oda. I would not be super surprised by that, because he mentioned that one of them dies. And he ain't even finished his drink, though. Aw, uh, the photo. I hope he has copies made of it. Why would he not want to remember such a good time in his life, right? Where he made friends and shit? I really feel like the one dude, the one asshole subordinate guy, No fucking shot, dude. Dude, what the fuck? Oh yeah, cause you gonna kill this motherfucker, that's for sure. I would too, man. Holy shit. That's crazy. Holy shit, dude. Uh, okay. Next. I'm telling you, bro, I would react in the same fucking way, dude. No shot I'd be able to just not do something after that. No way. Oh, was that the same guy or a different guy? I don't know. And what is that? <laughs> Oda said, fuck it, bro. My man is, is ready to take him down. He is ready to take the enemy down. He's ready to go down. He's done, bro. He's done. Rampo! Yeah, you just put on some glasses. Um... Damn, he looks so grown instantly, bro. He was drawn like much younger looking and then in that one frame. I don't know, it was like a handsome Squidward moment almost. Like he just looks so much older. Yeah, my dog said, fuck it. No more fucks given. He's killing them all. Damn. 
He's just busting everybody. Bang, bang, bang. Wait, he's too nice. What the fuck? Nah, bro. I would not have done that, bro. I would have shot him in his in his hands and his feet and then moved on. Or maybe just like, I don't know, broke both of his shoulders or something so he can't grab a gun. But let him live there in the pain and suffer. After what he did, it, well, I don't know if that guy was part of the people that did the thing to him, but you know what I'm saying? Fair. What is the envelope? Can we get some details here? Man, quoting the Bible? Bro, people that do crazy shit and then quote any, uh, like, religious text? What the fuck, man? Oh, really? Oh, what the fuck? What is happening right now, dude? They're like in slow motion together. And who was the man? That's an interesting thing, right? Who the man was? Oh, this is why he leaves. He don't fuck with the leader. Fuck you. Fuck you. Tell him. Because he's my friend. He's my friend. Yeah, friendship. Always friendship. They just sitting here just shooting and shooting forever, not hitting each other. Getting tired some point soon. Like, damn, bro, are we ever gonna die? Like, what is... Just keep going until we're out of bullets and we gonna start picking up everybody else's guns to keep shooting at each other. Oh, the author of the book. What's to be expected, you know? They're like betrayals a big part of war. It's okay. He's still here, and you'll still have that chance to say goodbye. Really? Yo, he's talking about suicide. I a shot to the shoulder. That ain't no fucking killing wound. You're fine. Oh. oh, damn, bro. Why are you killing this man's dreams? So that's what he did? Oh, because that's... He's your friend. Aww. 
Maybe in some capacity, but I feel like people also exist for more than that. Is there a significance to the bandage coming off? Are the bandages like the people he loves or something? Two weeks later, okay. This is when he quits. He said, fuck this shit, man, I'm gone. So these six episodes, wait, this is episode 16. Hold on, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, these four episodes were the prologue, not prologue, but kind of like his backstory getting to the point where he's part of, okay, okay. All right, so yeah, these episodes just rounded it all out, rounded out the story of Dazai, Ango, and Oda. Oda draw, drew the, the, the shortest stick though. It really sucks for him because he, and he didn't deserve what he what, what came to him, man. This guy just wanted to get to a point where he could live a peaceful life. I actually really liked him as a character, you know? This, like, writer's idea, right? This 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 author's idea of not being able to write a story or write characters if you're able to kill people. Interesting concept, you know? I like the fact that Oda had this dream of just one day hanging it all up and going to, to write looking out on the sea. Probably had the kids with him. You know, he just wanted to, 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 to be like a good, decent guy. And the dream never came true. And that fucking sucks. Ango though, Ango never died. So Ango's still around. I'm sure at some point in time, we're going to be introduced to him. And in the end, he is the one that dies, you know? He tells a story of how one of the three died. and He's the one that died. So I'm interested in, in encountering Ango at some point there's going to be some ties between Ango and Dazai and I don't know how that relationship is right now. Dazai might not be too big of a fan of Ango. We also didn't get to see like how Dazai met Oda. We didn't get to see that. Maybe at some point in time they flash back to it. I doubt it though. Maybe. Maybe if like we're recalling I don't know some sort of big effect that Oda had on D on Dazai you know like some some moral whatever that Dazai has. And he's like, oh yeah, because that one time with Ango, not Ango, damn it, with Oda. <laughs> I don't know. I, I liked that we got to see two people with essentially the same power fighting each other. I mean, the only way it can end is a stalemate. Also like that we got to see how the, the boss there is a smart motherfucker. He set all that shit up with Mimic and everything. He set it all up. So that way he could obtain the thing he was looking for, which was that license. Very interesting stuff, man. Though I am, I am saddened by the way that the kids died. Like that's fucked up. With that said, I'd love to know what you all thought about these two episodes and this whole like prologue as a whole. Not prologue, damn it. Why do I keep calling it a prologue? This whole backstory, this Dazai backstory with Oda and Ar Ango. Let me know what you thought about that in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.